All right, picture this if you will. You're uh, getting ready to set up for parks on the air. You only have a limited amount of time. And uh, maybe you're using a dipole like this with telescoping antennas. Uh, maybe you're trying to cut coax or maybe you're trying to measure around a corner for a loop antenna you're building. Tape measures, they could suck. I mean, you can cut yourself, but it's hard to measure around corners. And also bringing one out here is kind of difficult. So what do you do to be able to quickly measure the length of your antenna and get on the air in a rapid manner? Well, you could use a permanent marker and mark spots like six meters, 10 meters, 17 meters, 15 meters, 20 meters. But that becomes kind of a pain when the permanent marker slowly fades off of the antenna. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 550 cord. 550 cord is very useful, but more importantly, what I ended up doing is I cut about 17 feet of it, which would be just over a quarter wavelength for 20 meters. And I put a loop in like this right here. Now in theory, I should be able to hook this on somewhere and I should be able to measure out and know that my first knot, like you see right here, is six meters. My second knot will be 10 meters and so forth until we get all the way to the end, which just so happens to be my 20 meter marking. Then you could see what I did here is uh, I actually ended up using a lighter and burning the ends of the 550 cord in. And now let's take a look and see if this is any easier to measure 20 meters. But the nice thing about this also is then it ensures that both of your sides are roughly the same. And so you don't have any issues with uh, basically our stray RFI going back into your radio or any other problems that could be caused by having two unequal lengths of a dipole impedance and so forth. So I'm going to do the same thing on this end now. And it looks to me like it's about equal length. And you know, the nice thing about this is then if I needed to, I could probably even tie down my tripod, put a stake in there, and that way this tripod won't blow over. But let's just check it out and see now if it's resonant or let's see how close I was, I guess, right? CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, it's Whiskey Niner, Foxtrot, 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 W9FFF calling CQ from Park Kilo 1012. Is this frequency in use? It's Whiskey Niner, Foxtrot, 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 W9FFF. It was a good quick activation. I got about 20 minutes, I got about 13 contacts, and I got to get going. So, uh, you know, here it is again, which actually also kind of tells you that I'm a quarter of a wavelength high right now in 20 meters. Now, ideally, I want to be a half of a wavelength high in 20 meters. This mass doesn't go a half of a wavelength, but still, look at that. There's three uses for this. A, I can measure my, my different uh, lengths for a telescoping antenna, or if I'm building an antenna, uh, I could measure my height so I know that I'm exactly a half a wavelength high with a dipole, because that's an ideal spot for a dipole is a half of wavelength high, right? Um, also, I could use this rope to to basically secure the tripod or the mast so it doesn't blow over. So again, those are some of the cool things that you could do with just a piece of rope. I think it's a cool trick. Until next time, I'm Amateur Radio Call Sign W9FFF. Get out there and get on the air. Have fun, 73.